Do I have training, right? Uh, yeah, I do night classes. Night classes? Seven day off. How long have you been there? Ten months. Wow. Okay. This is my first time. I was at this class. You've never trained? All right, first thing I'm gonna start with just giving you a little, just quick foundation. So, I have background in Judo and Karate and Aiki Jutsu and Tenkwai Jiu-Jitsu and everything else. Um, so this class uh, incorporates a lot of Judo concept, all right? I don't believe in pulling guard. Um, if you wanna grab one, you gotta get me down to the ground. That's my mind. Um, so, give you the foundation. There's eight directions of off balance. I want you to keep this in your mind all the time when somebody's standing in front of you. Eight directions of off balance. There's three dynamics that cover the eight directions. First, let me show you the eight directions. One, two, three, four. We recognize that? Five, six, seven, eight. Right? Okay. Three dynamics that cover the eight directions. Front dynamic, rear dynamic, and side dynamic covers the eight directions. First front dynamic is knee in front of toe, head in front of knee. Somebody's off balance. We recognize that? Did you see what I did to recover my balance? Took a step. Took a step. Right? Rear dynamic is butt behind heel, head behind butt. Somebody's off balance in the rear dynamic. In one of those three forms. Same with the front, knee in front of the toe, head in front of knee. Somebody's off balance in one of these three forms. Side dynamic is hip, outside of foot, head outside of hip. Somebody's off balance. Did you see what I did each time in the dynamics to cover, to recover my, or realign my body? Took a step, right? Okay. Somebody can be standing in front of you one of three ways. Left foot forward, right foot forward, or parallel stance. Make sense? We use grips, clinches, pulls, and pushes to pull somebody further into that off-balance void or place them in that off-balance off -balance void. Recognize that? We load, trip, reap, or sweep to continue or fell the opponent without actually falling ourselves unless we enter a section of technique which is called sutime waza, or sacrifice techniques, where we sacrifice our footing in order to take the person down. Recognize that? Sound good? All right. The entire art of judo, all 68 throws are designed to give you that information that I just gave you in a minute and 30 seconds. Okay? It would probably cost you, I don't know, upwards of about, whatever, $10,000 or whatever, to get that information in 10 years, 20 years, whatever it might be, I gave it to you in a minute and 30 seconds. You can leave the $10,000 check at the front on your way out, okay? Randy Haskins, sign it to me. Um, all right, so if, could you get into some type of fighting stance? Nice, stay right there, don't move. Let's take a field trip over here. See his knees in front of his toe right here? Mm -hmm. See his head's in front of his knee on this side? So would you say he's off balance in this void right here? Right here? Looking at him? As I'm looking at him, I say, oh, look at that. See that? Good. If you come on over here, you see his butt is behind his heel over here? But see his head is floating in front of that? So, what this tells me as I look at him is I gotta pull him further into this void or complete this void, putting his head behind his butt. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so he automatically put himself in that position. Can you stand up straight? Or stand up parallel? The position of balance and off balance is so close. Can you grab my wrist? Right, don't let go. Right now, he's aligned, right? Watch how close it is. See what he's trying to do to recover? He's trying to pull him back. You see it? That's how close the boy is. So when he's in this posture, I don't got to pull him too far, right, to make him step in 
and then the drive him the ability to step. So if he's like this and you pull him further in here, he's going to try to step. But if I deny him the ability to step, what are you going to do? Probably going to fall or stumble. And as long as he's stumbling, he can't hit me, he can't do anything. The first thing he has to do before he can do anything else is stabilize. He can't hit me, he can't throw me, he can't do anything to me until he stabilizes. So that confusion, that chaos of him stumbling provides opportunity for me. Chaos creates opportunity. Make sense? That's what we capitalize off of. Sound good? All right. One out of every 10 people is left-handed. One out of every 10 people are left-handed. Any left-handed people in this room? One out of every 10 people are left-handed, which means what? The majority of attackers are gonna attack you right-handed. Right? Keeping that in mind, I train for self-protection solely, I forgot to start off with that. So, I train for the extreme, that way you can dumb it down for competition. I don't train for competition, you care less about competition. Because if you train for competition, then you have to amp it up for self-protection, usually it doesn't work that way. The equivalent is this. You go outside in sub-zero weather wearing a bikini, first it look odd because you're all men. But, you're outside wearing a bikini, sub-zero weather, you will never be able to warm up enough to survive. But, if you go out overdressed, you can always shut down to the desired heat level. Make sense? So I train for the extreme, that way I can shut down. Make sense? All right, so, I don't want to get hit, right? I carry a gun on my right side constantly. So, I don't want to give it to him. So, I am right-handed, so I keep my gun in back. Putting it out front will destroy you. And it's not hard to take a side. So if you're right-handed, and I take your right side, your confidence level drops. Ambidexterity is a physical thing, not a mental thing. So you might be able to do things well with your right side and left side, but if I take your strong side, your confidence drops, and mine controls the body. If your confidence drops, your body will follow suit. Make sense? So it all connects. Make sense? All right. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to um, warm up with a uh, basic arm bar into a spine lock. If the arm bar doesn't work, just warm up with it. All right? So this is what we got. So this is what we got. We're standing here. All right? When I'm uh, in front of somebody, I'm standing like this. This gives them access to you, doubles and singles, gets you stumbling, so I stay like this. If he tries to shoot it on me, he's going to hit a brick wall because of my posture. Structure over strength. I use my structure instead of physical strength. Once you do structure, you eliminate age, gender, size, strength level. So I'm standing here, I protect my lead leg, and then I'm trapping his left arm. I'm coming just like so. It's called the high zone entry. So as I come here, at the same time I crash my left shoulder into his, just like so, to trap his arm. Then I'm coming in, inserting, just like so. Okay? Then I am going to uh, ukigoshi reap right here, Boom. into a seat belt. Here, scoop, up, up, get up, get up, get up. Scoop his arm into an arm bar. Okay, real quick, one more time. This way. I'm coming. Boom, 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 boom. Feel it out. All right, that's gonna be crazy for you. How do you want to pair them up right now? You want to push the other guys or do you want to? TK. Listen, at will, switch if you want to try it on a different body type. I don't know if you met Redwood. <laughs> <laughs>
It's huge.
You see it? And I know he's going to post, which gives me access to his arm. So when he posts, I go, see me? See how I'm leaning? All his weight's there. He forgets about this arm. See it? So, see it? Yeah, I just. What's wrong? Don't let it go. Don't let his hand slide out. Don't go too far. It's better too much than too little because you can adjust. Meaning this. So we're in here like this, right? If I'm like this, watch, watch, watch how far I go. So zip, too far. So I say, I say, when you're out there, that's why I tap it right. When you're out there, I'm going to zip. I'm up here. Is it? Now I can just make adjustments. Is it? So don't go too far when you're sliding out and all this hand just falls out. Okay? Yep. Right behind your knee. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Oh, I missed it. Don't, don't, don't be too far. Be too deep. Now you can make adjustments out. Now arch. Better. You see it? Let's stay right there. Listen, if you come like this, watch my leg. I come like this. And I'm down here, I'm going to try to adjust. Yeah. I might get to the edge. So I go deep. That way I can make the small adjustments out. Okay. You see it? So I'm here, I'm just like this. I'm like, oh, you see it? I can stay deep. Because right here, I got control. Even if you're trying to fight out, you can't. You understand? So go deep, you have control. You can make adjustments out. If you're too shallow, you can't make adjustments out. It's going to slide out. It's going to slide out. So, <laughs> the key is being deep with your legs because you still have control. You understand? Even if it's not an arm bar, you have control. So, you have control. And I'm right here, right? It's like one second. Right? And I'm deep like this. I still got control. He has to fight out of this. You see what I mean? And I don't even got an arm. I'm just deep and good control. He's fighting with one arm and fighting against my weight. You see it? But if I'm here, you see it's too far. Now he has better options. You understand? So just be deep. So once you get him down, go boom and be deep. See? I don't even got an arm, but I got control. I'm good. See? Now he has to fight out of his fight. Really? You see it? Because I have the control. Make sense? So just go deep and then you can adjust out to the bar bar. Or just have the control. Yep. Yep. Don't worry about his arm. Don't worry. If you don't got the arm bar, it's okay. You have everything else. You can take this hand, grab his wrist. Take this hand, grab his shoulders deep. Grab his shoulder, there you go. Now, right, drag your arm back. This one. If not, the other shoulder. There you go. You see it? You got a single hand choke, or you got a cross face. Right here, cross face on Boom, right? Turn his head fully, fully, right? Now take this one out and place the back of your hand on his shoulder. There you go, no thumbs. Just like that. You see it? And then push with your shoulder, push his head down towards the ground. You, you have access. You have everything, and he's trapped. Make sense? Stay high. Stay high. So there's, there's two concepts in the Send no send it. Send no send is uh, really an issue. That's what we're doing right here. I can't get no Without any simulation, I decide to just go in and for a seatbelt injury, right? And this, just me doing that, having a flat and having a wrist, is my seatbelt. The person standing doesn't actually know, but once I touch his ribs and I have his wrist, this is the overarm, this is the underarm. It's an automatic seatbelt. He can't stop me from getting this. See what I'm saying? So that's just me initiating. If I'm waiting, go no sin, that's later, then I'll allow him to tell me to do it. Or 
his actions were telling me. So I'm standing here. He realizes he can't turn towards me or anything like that. Put on that little block. My hand. So he starts crying it out. When he does that, that's my black grab. You see it? So I'm like this. He goes. I go, thank you. You see it? So that's late initiative. Or early initiative is just me coming and traveling. All kind of things. Boom. Yes, exactly. And then you're going for it. Exactly. Make sense? Yes, sir. Behind your knee. Behind your knee. There you go. Good. See it? Feel it out with him peeling your fingers. Try it out with peeling your fingers. Watch this. We're standing here. You start peeling. Go. See it? As you're peeling, because you're out. Like, go. See it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You understand? Make sense? Control. Grab his wrist. Right? Get under there or across right or whatever. There you go. Good. You see it? You have all those options. Alright, let's say we're right here. Well, let's say we're right here. And I really don't have an arm. Let's say I turn to his wrist down with my by his feet. Right? All the way down. You see that? I don't have an arm bar, right? So I'm sitting here like this. You see it? I know I don't got an arm bar. Watch it. Right here. here. So I go like this. See this? Okay. You know. And you're having pretty well tied. Then I come here. You see it? Or I get under his chin, right? Give me under your chin. I grab his shoulder. Draw my hand back. You see it? Grab the or cross face him, and then pull this one out and start pushing his head towards the top. You understand? But I, I just have a control. I have him controlled right here. I know I don't have an arm bar, so I'm not trying to get the arm bar. You see it? Or I just lay down right here like this as I lift his wrist up. You see it? So it's a shoulder lock. But it's just, I'm saying I have control. I'm right here. I know I don't got an arm bar. I can feel it. So I just go like this. It's the same posture. You understand? Know it's just having control. Right. He can't escape regardless. I just have control. Like, I don't have the arm bar, but I have control. He has to fight out of that. And it's impossible. He's giving me so many options because I have control. So if you don't have an arm bar, don't give up. Go with other shit. Just stay in control. Keep. Stop. 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 Go back. Don't be like this. Don't stay like this. Way 
together. You understand? Don't grab, connect, and then try to squeeze this leg out. No, it's all the same. It's a miserable move. I think out of all of them, it's the most miserable There you go. That's it right there. That's it. That was it. That's it. That was it. That was pro status right there. That was pro status. Now, I wanted to add this for you guys. So we're right here. Right? Let's say I'm here. Right? I got a measure of control. You see me? But let's say I don't have an arm. Let's say he's avoiding my arm. By turning his hand down towards the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so he's a boy's arm. So I'm here. All I do is recognize that. I collapse on his uh, shoulder and bring his hand up. There, that shoulder. You understand? Or let's say I'm just to strike him. I feel I don't have the armor. Watch this. I don't have it. <laughs> Drag this back. It's a choke. Single handed choke. You see it? Once I grab his shoulder deep under his chin and drag his back, single handed choke. Or let's say he's bearing his chin. I come here, cross face him, take that out, grab, and then push his head towards the ground. It's a spine lock. But I have control over him. I never relinquish his arm. I just stay in control. I can mount him. I can fight him, I can take his back, I can do anything from this position here that I have to control. So what I'm telling you is that if you happen to go, you just don't want to do the work. Okay? Yeah. 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 Stop. Stand up. Don't. Don't leave your foot in You know? Yeah, it's very important. Pop. You understand? Pop. Yes. Pop. And when, yes. And when you go, right, when you pop it, boom. Then you see how I just drop it at me? I don't see it in like this while I'm down. Right? Drop it at me. You understand? And the size of the one. Okay? Go used to that staying low and pop it. <laughs> Lean, lean in, scoop, behind your knee, behind your knee, behind your knee. There you go. See it? Also, when you scoop, when you scoop, don't do this. Put your foot down, then put it there. Watch. Once it takes off from right here, it lands behind my knee. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave your leg tangled up, TK. You understand? Make it a quick pop. Listen, you want this leg doing this. Watch this. You understand? You want this leg to do this. <laughs>
don't even got his arm. No? He's too fast. I didn't do it. Go, go. Take your time. Yeah. No? Listen, listen. This hand goes on the back of your shoulder. On that hand, your back of your hand. The back of this hand goes on the shoulder. This hand goes like that. You see it? Now, no, no. Now, listen. Yeah, deeper with your palm. Just like that. Now, listen. Take your forehead. Wait, 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 wait. Take your forehead and push the top of his head down toward the ground.
Maybe it's timing's good, maybe it's not. So practicing a single leg is a, the technique of practicing a single leg. But when you stand in front of somebody, it's the process of how can I get it where I have 98% chance of success and he has 2% chance of you know, anything can happen. And that's this situation where I go, boom. Now I got access to an uncontested single leg. Right, stand here, I go. <laughs> if he doesn't hop the ball, now from here, boom. Wow. Right, go. Now I'm sitting here, he has to fight out of this. Boom. Turn your back to me. No. Right? You would just lay out it. Yep. See? 
See what you just did? You just pulled me on top. You see it? Once I'm here, I, I lower myself yep. underneath. You see it? Underneath. And then collapse on your wrist. Then gig over it. Right? All we gotta do is this right here. I'm not. No grapple. We did. When you go with a single handed choke, right, and you get underneath this chin, if you get under there's a couple here. Um, just put a forward. The same thing trapped on you decide not to. That's fine. You're right here. If you get underneath this chin and you grab this shoulder, all you do is drag the cell off. Okay? If you um get underneath this chin, you can tap on like this. Put this here and push his head forward. Yeah. It's a wind pipe choke. It's called an octogenic. It's the original. We're naked. Okay. This choke right here, right here is not just a little thing. Right? This is not just a little thing. Right? This one, that's like some percentage of this bullshit. That's the original Hanak. Yeah, yeah, we can go here. Come in here. This one is a blood you're supposed to come out for out right? The regular Brazilian one. This one is a windpipe. Yeah, that's the Hanaka, it's a windpipe crush. Exactly. Yeah. I did that before. Yeah, it's horrible. And as you know, for weeks, you try to eat them. Yeah. It's like you got a fucking string of rollers and shit up, right? Um, so yeah, you got Hanaka, you got Brazilian Hanaka, or you got uh, a yeah, Severin joke. Now I'm going to have super hands. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Or you have the, the, the spine lock. Yeah. You see it? So make sure your arm is not out here. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. side yeah. might be cool. Especially when you said before. I was like, yeah. Nope. Stop it. Don't grab, then put your leg in. Grab and put your leg in. Same time. Boom, and seatbelt, same time. Don't go like this, don't go and twist. You don't, watch this, you don't have to twist. Just, you just go, don't do this, and twist. Just go like this. I tried to go just pop this leg, just right here, just like this. I'm right here, I'm still facing this direction. Pop it up, boom. Go with your spine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Yeah. 
Make his leg go like this, more than this. So you don't want that this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in line with your spine. So if we're right here like this, right? We're like this, right? Thanks. Get on that line. Right there. Now, when you come in, your leg. <laughs> you want to you bring your leg in and, and land it over there. Facing this way, his spine is facing this way. Don't I don't want to go like this. I want to go like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more. It's more. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I'm not gonna do it to you. I'm just gonna show you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Your spine is this way. Yeah. My spine is just kind of this. Watch this. Don't go like this. See where I'm going? Now I'm aligned with your spine. Right. I want to go this way. Oh, yes, yes. yes. See how I'm going this way? With my spine? So I want your leg to come out this way. Yep, not this way. You understand? Okay? I just was watching and I was like, oh, that's my new people's issue. That's how, because sometimes you have to tangle up. You see what I'm saying? So I want to make, I don't want his left leg to go this way. I want it to go. This way. Yeah. So when you when I enter like this, if I go like this, sometimes you get tangled up. But if I go like this, yeah. this, this legs like this. Make sense? Sound good? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
So it's almost the same as kicking the leg off, but you're you're hanging on to it. Yeah, it's not yeah. kicking. Oh. It's just me sitting down. It's just me sitting down. Right. We're right here like this, and I just sit down and lift. Okay. See it? Yeah. And let the momentum carry me right over them. Okay. So I go right over. Them. Boom. Okay. Right here. Yeah. And keep his hand thin to the ground. Right. See it? Okay. Then. Oh no no! I didn't ask. I didn't ask for those. Well, you oh, gotta get him. You're gonna get Yeah, I didn't ask for that. Was gonna get he can't stop me from reaching between his arms. See his arms? He yeah. can't stop me from reaching through. So I reach through, grab, boom, and sprawl. Oh. Sorry, Pete. I didn't want that. Right? I didn't want to take the so that's me. Sin no sin. Early initiative. Me just going. I'm standing here. Remember, I came. Boom boom. I passed his guard. He puts me back in his guard by stepping on the outside of me. That's my goal sign. While he steps, I grab. So you While, grab him the left, not grab the left. Yes, okay. grab the left. Okay. When he steps, I grab yep. and drop. So watch this. Notice how I'm like this? Yep. I'm like this. So if he pushes on me, he pushes into the kickstand. If I'm like this and he pushes, I'm off balance. That's why I'm like this. So when he steps on the outside, I step up with the outside foot, the kickstand foot, to give me the space to roll. See it? So he steps, I step, drop, lift, roll. You see it? So that's lane initiative. That's me going off of his action. You understand? Sin no sin, early initiative, I just hop in, boom, and drop. Late initiative, I react to his reaction. But it gives me the same space. I'm in an advantageous position. He has to fight out of a detrimental position. I'm in control. Make sense? Absolutely. Good. All from bolt lock punch. And there's many other throws you can do from that as well. Yeah. Last thing. So we're right here. This is not a throw or anything. This is not a throw or anything. It's just, well, two things. So I'm right here. Most people go into a Russian tie do stuff like this, right? Automatically. Always start with this, right? That way, if he peels, I can come here and then back here. But if I'm here and he escapes, I have no other options. That's why I start here, and if he starts to peel, I'm here, then here. You see it? If I choose, if I just want to hold this. You understand? Or if he peels, I can still go here. But let's say I just want to hold this and play with him. Here, here, talk shit to him. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's one. Another thing, another reaction is I'm standing here. He'll take this hand, push on my neck, right, as he turns towards me. You see it? He'll try to pull this arm out, pull it out. He'll try to do that, right? You understand? So instantly, as soon as I touch it, I switch to the other side. See it? Sensitivity. You see it? One more time, he touches. Stay facing this way, watch this. Uh, let's see how, how this one work. His angle touch. No, no, no. Alright, touch. Shit. Touch. Let's turn this way. Touch. Sensitivity. Let's turn this way. Touch. You see it? So that's what I, how I feel sensitive. Right here, he touches, boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Make sense? Sure. So a couple of things about that. How to, it's called weapon retention. Retaining good position. Make sense? Okay. Last thing, let me say this. Rolling starts with this. Then people go. Timing is everything. See that? Here we go. Letting it stable. Then go. Now he has to fight out of this. So I go, and me bumping is my entry. Dump, boom, boom. Then enter, boom, and enter. See it? 